The corner of my office, where I keep my record cover design archive, has gradually been getting out of control over the past couple of years. The best way I could see to tidy it up was to move the shelves beside the boxes over a little bit, to fit two columns of boxes more efficiently. Doing that was an ordeal in itself though, so I made it into an opportunity for some other office improvements. I designed these shelves several years ago, and one thing that has been bothering me about them is how floppy the MDF has become, under the weight of all of my books. It wouldn't be a surefire solution, but it was a pretty economical proposition to replace the MDF with some stiffer plywood while I had to have it all dismantled. I got the timber yard to cut a sheet of ply into the right size boards for my shelf, and it left me with a pretty quick job to cut the leg holes out with a handsaw. I was a little disappointed with the tear out from the timber yard's cuts though, which gave me a bigger job than I was expecting in filling and squaring up the edges again before painting them. Painting was the next task. Good job I'm a professional when it comes to watching paint dry. If only it was this easy. A few coats later, I was ready for the task I'd been avoiding the whole time taking everything off the shelves so I could move the whole unit. Ugh, gross. Breaking the old MDF out was a pretty daunting task, but it didn't take long. It left a lot of old glue to clean up, but pretty quickly I was left with my original ash frame the whole thing looks very elegant in its skeletal form. It reminds me why I designed it the way I did. I did a test fit and I was relieved to confirm that I didn't cut the leg holes in the wrong places and it all fit together correctly almost as quickly as I took it apart. I took this opportunity to make a couple more structural improvements while I was at it. I added the other aluminium T-channel brace from the last time I tried to address the sagging wood, and added a diagonal brace to improve its shear strength too. The Perspex panels were also a previous addition that improved its shear strength on the other axis. With it back together, albeit 6 inches over to its right, next was to redo what I undid a few days prior putting everything back on the shelves. I'm not confident that I will have completely fixed the sagging wood, but hopefully it's an improvement. The whole office is a bit tidier now at least, and there's slightly less to distract Lily's teleconferencing colleagues as she continues to share the office with me through London lockdown number 7. There was just one more finishing touch for the tidying operation. Adding a poster for my new book, which I'm looking forward to telling the internet more about in future videos. Thanks for watching.